Israel's appearance at international events during the Gaza war was always going to be contentious. We saw it during Eurovision, and now we are seeing it at the Olympics. I think there is a small group of people, very noisy, very uh, unhuman, very coward, that choose to, uh, you know, to destroy the, the Olympic uh, values and spirit. In preparation for the inevitable backlash against an Israeli presence, French police bulked up security around the Israeli athletes in a joint operation with the Shin Bet. But despite this, French police have received reports of death threats against three Israeli athletes and allegations of anti-Semitic chanting at Israeli Olympic football games. But it's not just the crowd who are giving Israelis a hard time, it's the athletes too. Algerian judoka Redouan Masoud Dries is accused of intentionally bulking to weigh more than 73 kilograms to avoid playing Israeli judo star Toha Butbul. And I think this is a disgrace. I think that, uh, you know, you can play with uh, the way in the category. I wasn't prepared, but everybody knows this is uh, political issues. My heart goes to this athlete. I'm sure it's not his decision. I'm sure it's, uh, you know the management and I think uh, these guys, the coach, the delegation, has to, to be punished because uh, it's not about the athlete, he's a, a victim of the system, you know? Incredibly, it's not the first time Butbul has been at the centre of an Algerian manufactured Olympic storm. In the last Olympics three years ago, Algeria's Feti Noureen refused to play against eventual bronze medalist Butbul, earning the Algerian a 10-year ban from competing. And this is not the only incident involving an Israeli judoka at this year's games. After Tajikistan's Nurali Emamali beat the Israeli Baruch Shmailov, the Tajik refused to shake Shmailov's hand, reportedly yelling Allahu Akbar instead. But in a twist of irony, in the next round, Emamali suffered a dislocated shoulder and was defeated, meaning he couldn't shake anyone's hand even if he wanted to. But despite the safety concerns, Ya'el Arad, head of the Israeli Olympic Committee and a former Olympic judoka herself, says that what has been experienced online and on the ground couldn't be further apart. You know, there were, uh, in several occasions, uh, threats, real threats, directly to the telephones of, uh, of the athletes and their families uh, that they're going to die. Uh, threats that uh, you shouldn't come to Paris because we will kill you. But I must say that on the other side, we get here in Paris so much love from so many people.